everybody. Uh, it's Caroline. I'm going to do our Sunday school lesson this week. Hope you're all doing well at home. Uh, we miss you and uh, just glad I get to say hi on here. So today I'm going to be reading about Daniel. We've got a book about him and I'm going to read to us. It's got lions in it. I hope you like it. Um, but first I'm going to start us off with the Lord's Prayer. So you want to say that with me. We'll get started doing that and then we'll jump into our story. Um, so here we go. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Um, so today we are reading the story of Daniel. As you hear the story, think about how God helps him, even, um, even though things get really tough and scary in his life. You'll see what happens in the end and um, let me know what you think. Okay, here we go. Okay, if you can see the pictures. When Daniel was a boy, he lived in Jerusalem, but one day an army from Babylonia captured the city. The king of Babylon took many people back to his own country to work for him. Young Daniel and his family had to go too. Daniel had to work in the king's palace. The people in this new land didn't pray to God. Daniel had been taught about God, and even though he was in a strange land, he still remembered to say his prayers every day. Years went by, and Daniel became a man. He and his friends were very clever and worked hard at the king's palace. Daniel was good at everything he did and never made mistakes. Soon, he became very important and helped King Darius rule the country. Still, Daniel remembered to pray to God every day. When the king's other helpers saw how much the king liked Daniel, they were jealous. They said that Daniel did not belong to their country, yet now he was more important than they were. They tried to catch Daniel doing something wrong so that they could, tie, they could tell the king and get Daniel into trouble. But Daniel didn't make any mistakes. One day they saw Daniel praying to God and this gave them an idea. They went to see the king. We think you should make a new law so that all the people will obey you. For the next 30 days, no one must ask for help from anyone but you. If anyone breaks this law, he will be thrown into the lion's den. King Darius didn't know this was a plot against Daniel, so he signed the law. Daniel heard about the new law, but he still asked God to help him in his work. Daniel's enemies saw him praying and went to tell the king. Daniel is breaking the law. He is asking his God for help, they said. You must throw him into the den of lions. King Darius knew that he had been tricked. He was very sad because he loved Daniel, and now Daniel had to be thrown to the lions. The lions were fierce and hungry, and Daniel was frightened. He knew that only God could save him, so he began to pray. King Darius couldn't eat or sleep that night because he was so worried. Early in the morning, he went to see what had happened to Daniel. He shouted to see whether Daniel was still alive, and Daniel answered, My God has saved me. The king was very happy and told the men to pull Daniel out of the den. He said that Daniel's enemies should be put in the lion's den instead. Now that King Darius had seen how God had taken care of Daniel, he said that all his people must pray to Daniel's God. And that's the end. So, as you heard, um, Daniel was in a pretty scary situation and was probably feeling afraid and lonely and a little bit nervous and he just kept asking God to help him and give him strength and take care of him and that's exactly what God did. So if you are ever 
feeling worried about something or in a scary situation, just don't forget you can always send a little prayer up to God and, and ask for the help that you need, okay? So even though this was a long time ago um, and it's a story about someone who seems like it was almost a different world back then, it still applies to us now. God is with us too, always. So let's say a little prayer and then that'll be all for this week. Dear God, thank you for the children of Christ Church. Please watch over all of them as they go about school and life and all the things that kids get to do. Help us whenever we feel nervous or scared and help us to remember that you're always with us. In God's name we pray. Amen. Bye guys.